So let's start off our CES journey with LG G2 and C2 OLED TVs. Great for upscaling content to 4K, optimizing brightness levels, lots of other innovations. But I think the one I found most interesting was some world firsts from them, including the first 97 inch OLED TV ever. LG's refreshed 2022 Evo OLED TV lineup is finally here. The G2 and C2 are 4K OLED TVs starting from the smallest size of 42 inches and going up to a massive 97 inches. Both the lineups are equipped with the Alpha 9 Gen 5 processors capable of upscaling and optimizing brightness levels and colors. It has a greater level of brightness than before as the processor understands which part of the image needs to be brighter and accordingly distributes power across the individual pixels. This, combined with better materials to dissipate heat, results in the TVs being able to sustain much higher brightness levels. The new TVs are also NVIDIA G-Sync certified with all the HDMI ports on the back being HDMI 2.1, which can take advantage of the 48 Gbps transfer speeds for 4K 120Hz output while gaming. Additionally, with better materials and heat management in place, the TVs weigh up to 45% lesser than last generation. This results in a variety of ways to mount the TVs being available. They can easily be mounted flush on the wall or on the new gallery stand. The lower weight also enables an entirely new form factor in the LG OBJ, a 65-inch OLED TV placed on a rectangular stand. The stand has a motorized cover that can slide up or down to cover the TV. This cover also houses an 80-watt 4.2-channel speaker system. The LG G2 will be available in 97-inch, 83-inch, 65-inch and 55-inch sizes. The LG C2 will be available in 82-inch, 77-inch, 65-inch, 48-inch and 42-inch sizes. Let's move on now to Samsung. Their freestyle portable projector was fantastic. Weighs less than a kg, can be packed into a bag easily, but it's capable of projecting a really good 100-inch image. The Odyssey Arc 55-inch gaming monitor can be set up horizontally or vertically. 4K resolution, mini LED backlighting, lots more from Samsung. Samsung, during its keynote at CES 2022, revealed multiple new objectives and products. They started it off with the aim of being more sustainable with their products, from how everything is packaged to how they recycle the products after they have been discarded. In an attempt to save on e-waste of 200 million dead batteries every year, the new 2022 Samsung TVs will be launching with a remote that can charge itself up with radio frequencies of Wi-Fi routers and TV. Then, they went on to reveal an extremely small portable projector called the Freestyle. It weighs less than a kg and can be packed into any bag. It is designed in such a way that it can be pointed in any direction and placed at any angle. It can project a 100 inch image. Any content can be cast onto it with just a single tap of the phone onto the projector. It does not require any cables or Wi-Fi to work. The smartphone acts as a remote for the content being played and such functionality is not limited to just Samsung smartphones. Further, Samsung also unveiled an incredible curved monitor called the Odyssey Arc. It is a 55-inch 4K Quantum Dot Mini LED monitor. It comes with a stand that can both pivot the monitor or swivel it. This means that this incredibly huge monitor can also be used vertically. This opens an entirely new way to multitask on a desktop. Apart from the new hardware, Samsung also revealed a software called the Gaming Hub for their smart TVs. It is a one-stop shop for all game streaming services like GeForce Now, Google Stadia and Utomic. One will be able to simply connect a controller to the TV and get to play games without needing anything else. Let's move on to ROG now, their G14-16-10 aspect ratio screen, smaller chassis, better thermals than their duo laptops with redesigned hinges, better thermal performance, but the thing I really loved was the ROG Flow Z13. This is the world's most powerful gaming tablet, tablet with support for external GPU. Asus's gamer-focused division, ROG, had a busy day at CES. Busy with new hardware. Two new gaming headsets, a customizable mechanical keyboard, a new mouse, and two new OLED monitors. Then came the gaming laptops, starting with the ROG Strix G-Series and SCAR Series laptops. The G-Series laptops come equipped with AMD's new Ryzen 6000 series chips, while the SCAR Series comes with Intel's 12th Gen Alder Lake processors. Both the lineups have variants going up to NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3080 Ti, up to 64GB LPDDR5 ultra-fast RAM. Both lineups also have options between a 15-inch or a 17-inch display, with options between a Quad HD 240Hz panel or a Full HD 360Hz panel. 
Then came the big refresh of 2022, the Zephyrus J14. The new version comes with better thermals which enables an even smaller chassis without any sacrifice on power. It also comes with an all new Quad HD 120Hz display with a 16x10 aspect ratio. Everything is powered by the new AMD Ryzen 9 6000 series chipset and an AMD Radeon 6800S GPU. And after this came the technological marvel, the dual screen Zephyrus Duo. It has an upgraded hinge that merges the secondary display with the primary one. The Duo series gets a new 16-inch mini-LED HDR 165Hz primary display with a 16x10 aspect ratio, Ryzen 9 6980HX CPU and an NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3080 Ti, 64GB LPDDR5 RAM and a 4TB Gen 4 SSD. And finally, the surprise of the evening, the ROG Flow Z13, a 13-inch gaming tablet. Equipped with 12th gen Intel Core i9 CPU, NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3050 Ti, it is the most powerful gaming tablet ever. It can be used with a detachable keyboard and wireless mouse or a controller on the go. And for the hardcore all-out gaming, it can be attached to the ROG XG mobile external GPU which adds more power and more ports. And from that world, let's move on to ASUS, their new ZenBook 14 OLED, their ZenBook 17 Fold OLED. This is the world's first foldable OLED laptop. A touch-enabled portable ProArt monitor and ProArt pen for designers who prefer to use, you know, a stylus meant to work with the ProArt StudioBook 16 OLED also. You remember, we actually did review that laptop right here. Furthering the busy affair of ASUS at CES, we had some more consumer and corporate laptops along with a world's first. It started with the ZenBook 14 OLED, a minimalist, slim, lightweight laptop with 12th gen Intel Core i7 P series processors, a 14 inch 2.8K 90Hz OLED display with 100% DCI P3 color gamut, and Dolby Atmos certified Harman Kardon speakers. Then came the corporate focused expert book laptops with a new 14-inch size. It comes in two variants, a standard and a 2-in-1 convertible form factor. And the entire expert book lineup has been upgraded to 12th gen Intel i7 processors, better security and high-speed LPDDR5 RAM. Another great launch is the ProArt display, a 15.6-inch 4K touchscreen with 100% sRGB, 100% Rec. 709 color gamut with 10-bit color depth. Basically, the most accurate colors you can get on a screen. The screen is meant to be used by professionals who like to design with the stylus. And in this case, the stylus will be the ProArt Pen, a lightweight, precious sensitive stylus comfortable to use for long hours. And now, time to show you the world's first. ASUS unveiled a laptop with a 17-inch OLED foldable display. World's first OLED foldable display. It comes with a detachable keyboard and trackpad. Folded, it can be used as a small laptop. Unfolded, it can become a full-fledged desktop while you sit in a cafe. It comes equipped with 12th gen Intel processors, Dolby Vision certification, Harman Kardon tuned quad speaker system. A true technological masterpiece. And from there, we'll move on to Dell, their new 14-inch, 15-inch, 17-inch Alienware gaming laptops with 12th generation Intel processors. Another very interesting thing from them, a streaming system where a user can stream their games on their PC on any screen in their house. I'd really like to try this out and tell you how this works. A completely refreshed design for the XPS lineup, their very, very iconic, famous XPS lineup with the XPS 13 Plus. Dell had a truly interesting time at CES. The newest refresh from the XPS lineup is the XPS 13 Plus. To put it simply, it looks uniquely beautiful. Whether it is practical or not is still to be decided. It sports a keyboard occupied entirely by just keycaps. The function row is made entirely of touch sensitive buttons. The trackpad is seamless with the palm rest and works with force pad haptics and actuated motors for precise control. Up top, the XPS 13 Plus has options between a 4K IPS display or a 3.5K OLED display. Internally, it goes up to 32GB of LPDDR5 RAM, 12th Gen Intel Core i7, 2TB PCIe Gen 4 SSD and 2 Thunderbolt 4 Type-C ports. And when it comes to Dell's gaming division, Alienware came out with their first 14-inch gaming laptop, the X14, 
along with X15 and X17. All of these laptops come with the newest 12th gen Intel i7 CPU up to 32 GB LPDDR5 RAM, NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3060. The X17 goes a step above with the Intel i9-12900HK processor and a low-profile Cherry MX mechanical laptop keyboard. While the X14 sports a full HD 144Hz panel, the X15 has options between a 15.6-inch QHD 240Hz panel or a full HD 360Hz panel. And the X17 has a massive 17.6-inch display with options between a full HD 360Hz panel or a 4K 120Hz panel. Another big reveal was the Alienware 34-inch HDR curved gaming monitor. It combines OLED with Quantum Dot technology, which results in excellent and accurate colors with a thousand nits of peak brightness. It has a refresh rate of 175Hz with 0.1 millisecond response time, 10 times faster than any other LCD screen in the market. Moving on from the hardware, there was also a very interesting concept brought to light in the form of Concept Nix. The idea behind this concept is that a user will be able to stream any of the PC games, no matter where they bought them, and play them on any screen in the house with just a tap of a button on an app. And not only a single game, but four different games on different screens at the same time. It would need a powerful PC to run multiple games and enough networking prowess to result in low latency streaming. And this reduces the possibility of latency by a lot as the gaming rig is in the same premises. 